Good afternoon and welcome to another video from Arius TV 33. I am Marley Nadine. Um, last week I started a series through the Zodiac, um, which basically each week I'm going to drop a video on the astrological signs in order. That way you guys can get an understanding of what each Zodiac sign represents and why it represents the things that it does represent. So um, let's start with Taurus or let's continue with Taurus. Taurus is the second sign in the zodiac. It's represented by the bull. And when we think about bull, we think of something that is aggressive, something that's intimidating, something that has a spot on target, something that goes for what it wants, something that is protective, something that is instinctive. So all these qualities are qualities that the Taurus also has. And the bull is just a symbol to represent and give you a better idea to understand what it exactly means. Now, um, the sign of Taurus starts on April 20th and it goes through to May 20th. Um, yeah, so it's right after Aries. Um, it, uh, Taurus uh, like stays, the sun stays in the uh, astrological sign Taurus until like, but in the midst of spring. So during the spring season, um, you know, when all the beauty starts coming on the earth, the beautiful things start showing, start growing and flourishing. This is also um, a quality of Taurus because Taurus is represented by the planet Venus. Venus is the Taurus ruling planet. Venus is the planet of beauty, of luxury, of art, of design, of music. Um, you know, Venus screams everything beauty, luxury, um, you know, and love. Um, so that's also represented by Taurus. Um, um, Taurus is an earth, um, an earth sign, which means that they like their um, foundational people. They believe in building a foundation before building a structure. They also um, are a fixed sign, so that lets you know that they're a bit um, stuck in their ways. They do the things that work for them, and if it doesn't work for them, um, they would never know because once they find that thing that works for them, that's what they stick to. They're not people that need to explore and try new things and do different things. It's just not their style. They're going to keep and stick to the script as so they say. Um, most of the time they're compatible with Virgos or Capricorns. Virgo is another earth sign. Capricorn is another earth sign. So they can kind of understand themselves, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Um, so the gems are Moss Agat. Um, that's a gemstone or like a stone kind of like this. This is not Masagat, but um, that's the stone Masagat that represents Torres. Um, and also um, the metal that represents Torres is copper. Now there's little tell, tell signs that tell you like what a sign really, really represents. And by copper being the metal that represents um, Torres, like that metal copper is a conductor of energy. Copper is used to process things to move energy through, you know, to channel, if you would. So when I think about that, I just think about the kind of the like work ethic and just the way that Taurus moves. They're the kind of people that are, they're gonna get shit done. It's gonna process, like they're about the process and getting through to the other side. So when you think about the metal being represented, that's copper. Okay, now, um, strengths are they're reliable, they're practical, devoted, responsible, and stable. So those are really great strengths. Um, the weaknesses are they're stubborn, they're possessive, and they're uncompromising. So like I said, they're fixed sign. They don't want to hear what you have to say if it's not to the beat of their drum. Like they even want to change the whole song in general. Like, all right, I've had enough, let's go to the next level. That's just like a Taurus. So they like cooking, they like music, they like romance. They like designer clothing, um, and they like hard work. Like, they're very firm believers in hard work. Um, not always hard work, but, you know, like, they know their value, and based on their value, regardless if they're working hard or they're sitting in an office or they're picking out clothes, whatever they do, they're gonna do it to the best of their ability. They're gonna earn their money. And whatever they've gotten, they, they, they start from the bottom and they work their way up. Okay, dislikes. They don't like abrupt changes, they don't like complications, and they don't like insecurities of any time, any, any type. So if you're dating a Taurus and that person is insecure, boop, goodbye. <laughs> uh, but maybe if you're secure financially, then they're like, mm, let's outweigh the good with the bad. Let's see what's, what wins on that scale. 
Um, yeah, as far as that, they don't they don't play around. They don't like insecurities of any kind. They like a man to be secure with himself, to, or a woman, either or the opposite sex. They like to know that they are secure in some form, shape, or fashion. Um, Taurus are very reliable people. Um, they walk the talk, as most say. So they're not the kind of people that are gonna say like, oh yeah, I'm wealthy, I'm rich, and you're gonna go to their house and you're gonna see nothing that actually backs that up. Like these are people like, yeah, they're gonna have, everything is gonna be something because they wanna show that they've worked their ass off and have made it to get these certain things and um, I think that's a beautiful sign, a beautiful thing about them. Um, they earn what they possess. Um, they can be very tactical in a way that um, they're always making choices based on like calculated strategic plans. So Taurus are the type of people like they will put their plan in action, work towards their plan, sacrifice, and actually accomplish the goal that they like. Um, I like to talk about the zodiac signs, but I like to add a little cute stuff in there. So I was reading um, on Instagram like some blog site and they were saying that Black China was like dating Rob Kardashian. So I was like, wow, this is crazy. I went on the internet and I, I was wondering like, I wonder what her astrological sign is and I always assumed it was Aries. And I looked it up and it's Torres. And being that I was raised by a Torres mother and knowing how grind, grind compatible they are, like how much they love to work and they work hard, but also how if you cross a Torres, you're gonna fucking regret it. So I think that is hilarious in itself. Just a little side note. Okay, they can be, um, they, they're actually considered one of the most reliable signs in the Zodiac. If, um, if it comes to like children, they love their children unconditionally. They will provide great for their children. Their children will never go without. Same with a, a significant other. Taurus will love their significant other to death and they will go through hoops and hoops to try to make sure that what they want and what their goal in their relationship is, is actually what they actually get and what they work towards. Um, they love really hard and it's one of the hardest things for a Taurus to be rejected because they're the type who usually come in, take control, do what they want to do. And if you reject a Taurus, it, it, could, it could really affect their ego in a not so great way. Um, yeah, so they can be quite controlling when it comes to relationships, but it's usually just like purely out of love, okay? Now, they can be considered stubborn and all these things, but I think the stubbornness comes from the fact that um, that stubbornness is actually the quality that gives them their independence. So what might irritate you about a Taurus, or maybe they're not taking your advice, or maybe they're not doing what you want, but at the same time, that stubbornness it is what gets them to where their ultimate goal is because they want to do things strictly based on what they want to do. It's their perspective. Hey, this is the way I see it. This is the way I'm going to build it. I don't care if you know anybody who's ever done it before. This is what I want to do. And through that, they'll go through their process of life and most likely end up getting what they want or better or something as equally yoked as what they initially wanted to begin with. So I want to thank you guys for um, subscribing to my channel, for joining me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do when you get the chance. Um, yeah, and keep on checking out some more videos on Arias TV 33. I love and appreciate you guys. Happy almost summer 2016. And I will see you next week when we talk about the sign of Gemini. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, love you guys. Bye. <laughs>